the quiz, the next quiz will be on knights and knaves, just on, on that puzzle, a logic puzzle. Now, um, these puzzles are not extremely hard, but you have to think quite a lot about it, perhaps, sometimes. And, and, but the hardest part will be not so much figuring it out, but explaining it, convincing me that you have gotten the right answer. Okay? I know the right answer. That's not the issue. It's, you have to convince me. You have to show me that there is no other solution. Now, I should warn you and give you at the end uh, an, an example where you could have many solutions, but I will always ask you one that has exactly one solution, okay? So I'm just going to do one uh, and, and review again how you can solve it. I'm not saying this is the only way you can solve it, but if you do it another way, you're going to have to um, explain step by step somehow why you have excluded this case or why this case cannot be or why you how you got to your... Um, your conclusion okay so here's an example of uh, well one time let me just repeat right knights always truthful so always speak true so they're always true let me just let's write it that way always true and knaves always false always lie okay so here's an uh, you, you encounter two people uh, a and b this you could do a bit more, and so you could make it much trickier, but let's do uh, A and B. And so P of... the A says, let me write it this way first. Let me first write it. So A says... A says... Um, we are both knights. And B says... Sometimes only one of them says something, right? But now you have both say... B say... Uh, a is a knife, is a knife, sorry, is a knife. Okay, so the first thing I, so I'm not going to give you a way of solving this uh, using formal logic. First thing is I'm going to make it a formal statement. The first statement, so P of A, is a statement that A makes, the proposition, and what is this proposition? We are both knights, that means A, so I'm going to write, write, one for uh, knight and zero for um, knaves. So it says that A is one and B is one. Okay, and B is one. We are both knights. That's exactly the formal way of saying that. So what is statement B then? What does B say? A is a knave. That is the statement. A is zero. Okay. So we. That's the first thing. Then we make a truth table. Well, we. It, it's a slightly. It's not. A, really a truth table, it's a, it's a similar to a truth table, what we do is we say, okay, we look at the four possibilities, uh, the four possible configurations. Now this, again, we can always systematically, okay, so that A is a knight, B is a knight, A is a knight, B is a knave, etc. Okay, and then we look at which of these situations are excluded, can have to be ruled out by what they are saying. Okay, so P A says A is one and B is one. Now, that could be a lie. Not saying that it is true. We know it, but we know exactly when it's true. It's true when A is a knight, and it's false if A is a knave. Okay. So now we can look. So at this point, we're gonna now rule out possibilities because we know we we look at the statement P A in these four cases. So in other words, I'm I'm gonna go through this column here and look each time what am I actually saying? Does what I'm saying correspond to the actual situation? Okay, so the first statement here is A is 1, B is 1. Yeah, sure, that is okay. That is exactly, it's a true, well, right, so it's a true statement, right? 1 means it's a true statement, so A is 1, B is 1. Okay, that's fine. What about here? So it's still a true statement, A is 1, B is 1. No, that's not the case. So this is already one that I can rule out. Let's use red. Okay, so this is ruled out. Okay, you understand? Uh, but we, we have to go to the whole column, right? So let's go on. What is here? Now, now this is a false statement. A is 1 and B is 1. What's the negation of a false statement? Now we have seen the Morgan law. That means, so perhaps here it's good to see the negation of P of A formally is not A is 1. So A is 0, the negation. Or, remember, the N turns into OR. That's the Morgan. The Morgan. Or B is 0. Okay, so now is this this is the statement that we are that that we have to consider. 
Okay, um, so here, this is, as I said, P of A is now a false statement, so this is now the, the true statement. A0, B0, yeah, that's correct, because A is 0. Mm -hmm. It's an OR, so this, is, this can not be ruled out. And this one, can we rule out? No, we cannot rule that out either. So, the, what A says only rules out one case. Mm -hmm. So, what about B? Okay, so <clears throat> now we, we look at B, so we know, again, when this is true, when this is false. We don't have to consider the case that we ruled out anymore, so let's start with this one. Suppose B speaks the truth, right? This, this is this case, right? Then A should be zero, but that's not the case, so we can rule that out. Okay, so what about if we are in this situation? Now it's again a true statement and it says A is zero. Yeah, that's correct, so we cannot rule that out. Okay, now what about this statement? Now this is a false statement, that means that A is actually one, but no. That's not the case, so we have to rule this out. And then, if, as I said, if it works, the questions I always ask will be of such nature that you end up with exactly one solution. And so the solution is A is a knave, 0, and B is a knight. Oh, if you write 0 and 1, as long as we agree on these numberings, then that's fine too. Okay? Now, it, the problem is going to be you cannot submit a video. Look, look at what I have written, what I have given you now. This doesn't explain to me why these things are ruled out. Okay, which case ruled out what? So, I need you to explain this more, right? So this is this one is ruled out. This one was ruled out. Sorry. Uh, this one was ruled out because this was a, because because of this, okay? This was ruled out because of this, and this was ruled out because of that. So perhaps you can do something like that to make it clear to me why you ruled out something, or you can write it perhaps. Okay, it, it's not that long, right? I, sp I said it, in, but you should have write it out. If you just do what I originally had, so if you give me first this thing, I haven't seen really yet why these cases are ruled out, right? Because I, um, at the end, they are ruled out, but they were ruled out in steps, and you have to show me the steps. I hope that is clear what I'm saying. It's, you, you cannot submit a video. You have to submit um, a written um, solution. Okay. So that's uh, the only case I want to discuss, because they're always the same. It's always the same. I'm not going to do the spies, guys, because that, that, I agree, is much harder. But I just want to give you an example of where things can sometimes be... Um, um, here is one. So suppose another situation is so A says yes. A is a knight. Uh, sorry, B is a knight. So, so, so let me write it in words. B is a knight, and then B says A is a knight. Okay. So they are nice to each other, so to speak. I mean, I guess it's 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 a badge of honor to be a knight. But okay, so let's make this again formally. P A is the statement B is one. P B is the statement A is one. Correct? Okay. So now we make our two table A and B. Or, or basically, this is not a two table. If you want the possibility, four possibilities. Okay. So now P A. Okay. P A is true in this case and false in this case. Let's look what this means. P A is true. So P A says B is 1. Is that the case? Yes. So I cannot rule out. P A is true and it says B is 1. Is this the case? No. So I have to rule that one out. So this one is ruled out. And perhaps uh, to stay in line with what I was saying, the reason this uh, rules this one out. Okay? That is for me, or have enough understanding what, what's going on here. Okay, so um, we, keep, we keep going, because we have, we, we have to look at the next one. Now, P, A is false. So this is a false statement, that means that B would be zero. Is that the case? No, it's not the case, so we have to rule it out. Oh, right, I was going to do it this way, right? And then I was going to use, say that this rules that out. Okay. Uh, well, are we done? No, no. Don't forget to do all of them, right? Because you're ruling out things. If you forget the step, then you don't know whether you should have ruled it out or not. So let's look at this one. Now, P is false. So in other words, 
This should not be true. So B should be zero. That's Chris. So we cannot rule that out. Okay. So now let's look at what PB. PB, that is true, false, true, or false. Okay, depending on B, knight, or naif. And now we look at it. If PB is a true statement, then A should be one, and that's the case. The other two that are ruled out, I don't have to look at anymore. So now I look at this case. If of course, if you rule out the wrong thing, then you're in problem, right? If you end up with no possibilities, then you have to start over until you figure out exactly what it is here. What about this? Um, this says that PB is speaking not the truth. So A should be zero. Now that's the case, so we cannot rule that out. And there's nothing else being said anymore. So now we are in a situation where there are two possibilities. I just want to show you that it can happen. It, it's also possible that they contradict that there is just no solution. Okay, this is a bit the question of satisfiability, if you want. All right, so this is um, the quiz on knights and knaves. It's a rather easy quiz, but okay, it, it involves some, some um, thinking. And at least the most important thing, as I said, is give me a good argument. Why this is, and what you should always do, of course, at the end is now, so we have... In this first case, we saw that this is the right case, right? Is this now correct? Well, let's see. Um, so if A is a name, then this would be a false statement. A is 1 and B is 1, right? Okay, it's a false statement because A is not 1. And if B is a knight, then this should be a true statement, right? That's a true statement because A is an F. Okay, you see, double check that what you actually found fits exactly the pattern. That's another way of, of finding mistakes. All right.